Hey everybody, this is Jonathan Marks from GoToHealthMedia. This is video six in our series, How Project 2025 Will Change Healthcare in the United States, which we've broken into six parts. Project 2025 is the 920-page conservative agenda set by the Heritage Foundation to be implemented if and when former President Trump wins election in November 2024. You can see the complete list of videos we are producing in this evidence-based series. Our intent is to educate you with facts. We hope you will like our videos and subscribe to our channel. Today, we're focusing on the impact of Project 2025 on families, gender identity, pregnancy, abortion, and recommended foreign policy on these matters. Thanks in advance for your support. We are covering six topics in the video six series, one video for each topic because there's so much to cover. This is video 6-5, focused on abortions. Previously, we've covered introduction to video 6, family definition, gender identity, oversight of all pregnancies. Now we're covering abortions and next, protecting life in foreign assistance. So sit back and watch each one of our videos to understand the full ramifications of Project 2025 on family, gender identity, pregnancy, abortion, and foreign assistance. When you watch each of the videos in Episode 6, you will have complete information on Project 2025's approach to regulating family, sex, pregnancy, abortion, and foreign policies on these subjects. The bulk of this video is quotes from Project 2025. Their revulsion of reproductive freedoms is obvious, and we accomplish our mission of informing you about Project 2025 simply by requoting their statements on this issue. Regarding abortions, Project 2025 boasts the following quotes. Finally, conservatives should gratefully celebrate the greatest pro-family win in a generation, overturning Roe v. Wade, a decision that for five decades made a mockery of our Constitution and facilitated the deaths of tens of millions of unborn children." Unquote. Another quote, But the Dobbs decision is just the beginning. Conservatives in the states and in Washington, including in the next conservative administration, should push as hard as possible to protect the unborn in every jurisdiction in America. Unquote. Another quote, in particular, the next conservative president should work with Congress to enact the most robust protections for the unborn that Congress will support while deploying existing federal powers to protect innocent life and vigorously complying with statutory bans on the federal funding of abortion, unquote. Obviously, what's missing here is any concern about pregnant mothers. The quotes keep coming. Conservatives should ardently pursue these pro-life and pro-family policies. Alternatives to abortion, especially adoption, should receive federal and state support. And finally, quote, in summary, the next president has a moral responsibility to lead the nation in restoring a culture of life in America again, unquote. All these quotes are from page six, right at the beginning. Regarding abortion methods, Project 2025 covers abortion pills. Quote, abortion pills pose the single greatest threat to unborn children in a post-Roe world. The rate of chemical abortion in the U.S. has increased by more than 150% in the past decade. More than half of annual abortions in the U.S. are chemical rather than surgical. Unquote from page 457. Quote, the FDA should therefore reverse its approval of chemical abortion drugs. Now that the Supreme Court has acknowledged that the Constitution contains no right to an abortion, the FDA is ethically and legally obliged to revisit and withdraw its initial approval of abortion drugs. The FDA is statutorily charged with guaranteeing the safety and efficacy of drugs and therefore should withdraw this drug that is proven to be dangerous to women and by definition fatally unsafe for unborn children." Unquote. That's from page 455. In contrast, the FDA claims a completely different view of abortion drugs on its website. Quote, 
the FDA-approved Mefeprex more than 20 years ago based on a thorough and comprehensive review of the scientific evidence presented and determined that it was safe and effective for its indicated use. It can be used for medical termination of pregnancy up to 70 days of gestation. Continuing the quote, the FDA's periodic reviews of the post-marketing data for Mefeprex and its approved generic have not identified any new safety concerns with the use of Mefepristone for medical termination of pregnancy through 70 days gestation. As with all drugs, the FDA continues to closely monitor the post-marketing safety data on mefepristone for the medical termination of pregnancy." Unquote. Other quotes on abortion from Project 2025, we've covered this topic in a previous Video 6 series, Video 6-2 on Family Definition. And I quote, Congress should pass the Protecting Life and Taxpayers Act which would accomplish the goal of defunding abortion providers such as Planned Parenthood." Unquote, from page 472. Another quote from page 472. Policymakers should end taxpayer funding of Planned Parenthood and all other abortion providers and redirect funding to health centers that provide real health care for women. The bulk of federal funding for Planned Parenthood comes through the Medicaid program, HHS should take two actions to limit this funding. First, issue guidance re-emphasizing that states are free to defund Planned Parenthood in their state Medicaid plans. And second, propose rulemaking to interpret the Medicaid statute to disqualify providers of elective abortion from the Medicaid program." Unquote. Let's talk about vaccine importation. Quote, Thousands of Americans of faith and conscience wish to receive various childhood vaccinations for themselves and their families, but are not allowed to receive vaccinations that are derived through or tested on aborted fetal cells. For example, the chickenpox, hepatitis, and MMR vaccines in the U.S. are all linked to abortion in this way." Unquote, from page 459. Now, the facts are these vaccines, along with many others, were invented from the 1920s to the 1990s using fetal cells. However, once invented, the vaccines can be replicated without using fetal cells. By contrast, the Vatican has clarified that, quote, all vaccinations recognized as clinically safe and effective can be used in good conscience, with certain knowledge that the use of such vaccines does not constitute formal cooperation with abortion." Unquote. This comes from the Holy See Press Office, archived from the original on October 3rd, 2021. But wait, there's more. Project 2025 also states, quote, keep anti-life benefits out of benefit plans. Some benefits attorneys and pro-choice advocates have argued that since the Supreme Court's Dobbs v. Jackson Women's Health Organization decision that the long-standing doctrine of Employee Retirement Income Security Act of 1974, ERISA, preemption, should block individual states' efforts to prohibit employers from helping employees procure abortions via offering various kinds of coverage under employee-sponsored benefit plans. ERISA should not be allowed to trump states' ability to protect innocent human life in the womb. Congress and the Department of Labor should clarify that ERISA does not preempt states' power to restrict abortion, surrogacy, or other anti-life benefits." Unquote, from page 585. So here, Project 2025 is advocating states' rights in the application of retirement funds. Inconsistency once again. Project 2025 bounces back and forth between national control and state control when it serves its own religious purposes. And finally, a last quote regarding abortion. Ensure that training for medical professionals, doctors, nurses, etc., and doulas is not being used for abortion training. HHS should ensure that training programs for medical professionals, including doctors, nurses, and doulas, 
are in full compliance with restrictions on abortion funding and conscience protection laws, unquote, from page 486. All these quotes are very clear and speak for themselves. Our mission here is to inform you of the contents of Project 2025. We've accomplished our goal regarding their view of abortion. Thank you for watching. We hope this video gives insight into how Project 2025 will change health care in the United States. Please like this video so more people see it. Thank you in advance. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel so you benefit from all the videos in this series. This has been Jonathan Marks with GoToHealth Media.